4 million iPhones to date. Now, what everybody's really excited about is the software development kit that we're going to release in late February to our developers. This is really exciting, a chance for all of our hours. developers to write incredible apps on the iPhone. But we wanted to give everybody something today, too. And so we've got some great new features we're rolling out on the iPhone today. First, maps with location. We've completely rewritten the UI, and we now have the ability to find your current location in maps. Web clips. You can now make web clips of your favorite websites and put them right on the home screen. You can customize the home screen and create up to nine total home screens that you can flick between. You can SMS multiple people at once. When you're watching videos, you can have chapters and navigate through your videos with chapters. And if it supports it, you can have subtitles and alternate languages. And if you have lyrics, we support displaying of lyrics now in the iPod. So what I'd love to do now is show you this stuff. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go to Maps. And as you can see, we've got a new user interface for Maps here. Uh, we've got uh, <clears throat> search and directions right in the middle here so people don't get confused. Over on the right side, we've got a little view button. And I can hit that and just curl up the map. And it allows me to see my map and map view, satellite, new hybrid view, which puts them together, list view, show traffic, and we can drop a pin. We'll come back to that later. But this button on the left is really cool. I push it, and it's going to locate. It's going to locate me right on the map. Zoom. And there we are. <coughs> so. This is pretty cool. And I can just flip right into directions now. And it uses my current location as the start. And I could say, well, that's cool. I want to get back to Apple and just find the route. And it will calculate the route back to Apple and show me and give me street by street directions if that's what I'd like. And here we are. Uh, I could say I want to edit that. And uh, what I really want is I know we have. Uh, we have an Apple store um, nearby here, and I've bookmarked that as well. And so let's calculate the route to that. And here's the Apple store. So after the keynote, I can wander over to the store. I can drive over to the store. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I can also now uh, drop a pin anywhere I want to uh, and move it around. And let's say uh, when I'm uh, going to the Apple store, I find a cool little shop over here I want to bookmark. And I can just add this to my bookmarks. I can get directions. I can remove the pin, whatever I want. And I can just keep track of those kinds of locations that I want to go to again. So that is the new Maps. And again, we develop our Maps application in conjunction with Google. They have awesome Maps technology. And we write the front end apps. And it's a, it's a great collaboration. And we love working with those guys. So I want to now uh, SMS more than one person at once. And uh, I'm going to bring up a new message here. And I'm going to just, uh, well, let's say I want to send it to Phil and uh, Scott. Yeah, oops, got to spell his name right. Scott Forrestal and uh, maybe Tim and maybe Tony. Tony Fidel right there. And I could just say hi. And this will, all, this will actually send a message to him now. And so I'm sending a message to four people here, uh, which is kind of nice. But as you know, uh, our SMS uh, client keeps track of the conversations that you're having with these people. And so if I go back now after sending this, uh, it's right here at the top of my list right there, you can see. And if I want to send another SMS to all of these folks with one click of my finger, I've addressed it and I'm ready to go. So it's pretty nice. So that's sending SMSs to more than one person at once. <laughs> Web Clips. Web Clips is pretty cool. So I'm, I go to my Safari browser. I'm, 
looking at uh, the Apple home screen now. And I'm going to go to Google because they have these really cool apps now that uh, work with the iPhone. And I think I might use them a lot. Uh, and here they are coming up now. And what I can do is uh, I now have this plus button right down there at the bottom in the center. And I can just push this plus button. Uh, and what's going to happen is, I, in addition to have add to bookmark, I have add to home screen. And I can mail a link to this page if I want to. So I'll say add to home screen. And it comes up, and I can rename it if I want. And it shows me the icon that I'm going to get. And I say, that's just fine. Let's add it. And so now that icon is now added to my home screen. I'm going to go get another one. Uh, this one takes a while but, uh, to load, but it's the New York Times. It's a great website. And uh, we'll just go ahead and wait for it to load here. Because web clips can be more than just a website. They can also uh, remember where I've zoomed and panned to. So on the New York Times, uh, I often like to just look at the, the front page and look at the technology section here uh, once it loads in. And uh, we'll, tend to, we'll just uh, scroll down here for a second as it loads in. And uh, we'll zoom up to the technology section. There we go. And that's what I want to see. Um, and we'll just go ahead and say, add this to the home screen. And uh, we'll get rid of the whole New York Times and just put NYT, because that takes up a little less room. And we'll add it. And now I've got a New York Times right here. right? And I just touch these, and I go right back to those websites, which is really cool. Now, I may want to customize my home screen. And so what I can do uh, is just touch any icon uh, for a few seconds, and they all start to jiggle. They're all, they all get a little restless. And I can do whatever I want. I can take something out of the dock if I want. I only have three things in the dock. I can say, I'm going to use these Google apps a lot. I'm going to put them right in the dock there. I'm going to take my New York Times and just slide it over to the right of the screen. And it goes to another page that I've made with all my other web clips on it. And, uh, and when I'm done, well, I can go back here if I want. And I can just you know, move stocks down here. And I can move you know, my calendar over here, whatever I want to do. And I just push home, and I'm done. And now my icons have been rearranged. And uh, I can go see some of these other web clips. I can just push Bank of America. They have a great mobile banking app here. And uh, I just go right to it. It's that simple. And I can create up to nine of these home screens and just literally uh, flick between them with a flick of my finger. So there you have it. So how do we do some of this stuff? Uh, let's take maps. There's no GPS inside the iPhone. You know, we've got this great new user interface. But how do we actually arrive at the location? Well, we're working with two companies to do that, Google and a company called Skyhook Wireless. Let me start with Skyhook. What they've done is they've driven the US and Canada in little cars with antennas on them and GPS receivers in them, and they've mapped Wi-Fi hotspots. They're now doing Europe and starting in Asia. And they've got 23 million Wi-Fi hotspots in their database. And so when we go to find a location, it turns out you pick up beacons from these hotspots, even if you're not connected to them. And then you pick up the beacons, we triangulate the beacons, look in their database, and it tells us where we are. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's really cool. <laughs> and Google is doing basically the same thing with triangulating cell tower information off the cellular network. And we're using both of them. And it works pretty doggone well. So that is how we find location on the iPhone. And again, we can take any app. We have this new Add to Home, pay, add to home Screen button. We can go ahead and add our apps right to the home screen. We can reposition them anywhere we want. SMS, multiple people at a time. And again, have a record of that so I can just, if I want to, one finger, send a message to all those people again. And when I'm watching films now, I've got two buttons here. One shows me all the chapters. I can navigate through the video by chapters. And the other, if the video contains alternate language tracks or subtitles, I can turn those off and on and select the language as well. If I have lyrics data, it puts it right on top of the album art when I go in with the scrubber. 
So these are some of the